Hey guys, this is uh, Jacques from Makulu Linux and welcome to another video. So before I start with this video, I just want to say that our core edition is out. You can go and you can download it it's on the website. Uh, Makulu Linux Core 2021, it's released. So it is available for download. Go grab your copy now, check it out. You might actually like it. It's a very unique styled operating system. For the guys that prefer the more traditional desktop with sort of the panel layout and the standard menu, the guys that really enjoyed our previous flash editions, today's video is for you. In fact, I we actually had a guy in our chat channel um, a couple of days ago that was uh, going off on a rant about looking for the newest flash build. And I thought it was quite funny. But anyway, okay, so... It's good to know that there are people out there that are looking for Flash or like Flash or want to use it. And this release that I'm working on right now is for you. Okay, so um, this is uh, Flash 2021 that we're working on and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Okay, so let's take a look around the desktop and just see what the initial early builds of Flash looks like. So. Um, if you look here, you're going to see it looks a lot actually like the previous Flash OS that we released last year. Uh, you got the desktop icons, the same icons. You got the, a nice shark wallpaper, the same as before. You got the conky clock, nice. You got low RAM usage, 567 at boot up at idle, 567, so it's less than 600, which is nice. You got a bottom panel, which is very, very, very transparent with some uh, system icons some favorite icons and a menu icon and of course yeah it's quite transparent however um, that transparency is an illusion and I will show you in a minute what I mean by that uh, okay so with the with the uh, new flash um, we've obviously ported it to our GNOME framework base, our new hybrid GNOME base. We're actually porting all of our builds over to the new GNOME base. We will still actually keep a copy of them on XFC and Cinnamon and wherever else they used to be, but we're currently porting all of our new distros, all, all of our new builds over to our GNOME base. And there's a big reason for that, and I'll reveal that at a much later stage. For now, just know that we're porting over everything to our GNOME base. The GNOME base is running so, so well. Okay, so this, even though it looks like the old Flash, I spent a lot of time making it look like the old Flash, it is not the old Flash. The old Flash was XFCE based, this one is GNOME based, okay? Or on our new home uh, GNOME hybrid base. Uh, you still have the uh, 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 whisker type style menu. It is slightly different, obviously, because it's not the actual whisker menu from uh, XFCE, but it is themed and styled to look the same. In fact, this one has more features. Okay, this one has a couple more features. Now, don't worry too much about the theming. I'm still working on it. Um, remember, this is still quite an early build. Okay. Uh, but this is what the menu looks like. Okay, so you've got a search bar, you've got your uh, categories on the left, your applications on the right, you've got your user at the top, and you've got some options here, system options, logout, shutdown, settings, manager, and so forth, so forth, on the menu. Much like your uh, other XFCE. On the other, other XFCE, if I remember correctly, these were at the bottom though. Here it's on top. Um, I could move it to the bottom, but I actually kind of like it on top. Okay, so... Uh, much of it looks the same. I have implemented a couple of features that I had in Shift and then in Core, I've brought over to to uh, Flash as well. Okay, and okay. Well, we in the old Flash we did have wobbly windows and stuff. You have it in this one as well. And remember, I've got 3D effects enabled. Look at this: 3D effects enabled, and it's running at 570 megs of RAM, 575 with 3D effects enabled. Okay, so those are, they're running. I'm in a virtual machine, by the way, in a virtual box. Look at this. Okay, great. And we're less than 600 megs of RAM. 
Okay, however, uh, that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you was, uh, just like with Core and Shift, it is now easy to restyle your desktop, move your panel. In Core, we move the dock and the panels and the clock. In, in, in Flash, it's a little easier because it's just a single panel. So uh, you can move your panel up and down with just one click, okay? So it's really, you can just go to Layout Manager, and if you click the top one, it will simply just move your panel to the top. And there the illusion starts to fade away. Do you see the panel? You can see that little, it's, it's not completely see-through. It looks completely see-through at the bottom because the background is the same color as the panel. So that's why there's an illusion, okay? If you actually go and you change desktop background and you choose a different wallpaper, we've got some amazing wallpapers, by the way, and you actually change the wallpaper, uh, sorry, you actually change the wallpaper you're going to see. You can actually see the panel. The panel is not um, completely transparent. It's just an illusion, okay? It's because the background is the uh, 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 same color as the panel, and therefore you get that. Let's go find that background again. The background is the same color as the panel when the panel is at the bottom and therefore it looks completely see-through, which I thought was actually a nice little touch on the whole illusion thing. But yeah, you can go to Layout Manager and you can just move your panel to the top with one single click or to the bottom again with one single click and it's instant, it's very quick. And of course, if you move it to the top, the menu now nicely drops down and you can still access everything. Okay, um, because it's based on the, because it's based on our GNOME on our name, our hybrid GNOME base, of course, you have much of the same extensions that you do in Shift, Core, and now Flash. In fact, Lindos will have these as well. Okay, so you, uh, uh, where Core, the clock is in the middle, on Flash, it's more to the side because this is a more traditional layout that we're going for. So everything here will sort of look more traditional. Where Core is a little bit out there, a little bit out of the box, so things are a little bit. <laughs> a little bit out of out, out of the world uh, flash is much more traditional so everything will sort of be in their standard spots where they are meant to be okay um, so yeah let's just uh, I prefer the panel at the bottom so let's just put it there at the bottom in fact let's go change the wallpaper to something else just kind of tired of looking at the shark all day let's change it to maybe the bear no not the bear Ah, the tree I like this tree Okay, a little, that's an interesting wallpaper. Okay, so, uh, no, not the tree. Actually, let's just change that. So I want the panel to be clearly visible. Where are you? Oh, lion? No, not the lion. Although the lion does look cool. Ooh. Some radiation. Dude. No, let's go to the bear. Okay, I'm going to go with the bear. Okay. So basically, uh, we still use the same file manager, Nemo. I'm trying to keep as much standard across all of our distros as possible. So I want the same themes, the same mouse cursors, um, you know, the, the same sort of standardized th themes and, and so forth. The icons are sets are obviously different. The back wallpapers are different. And uh, the mouse cursors are, are somewhat different. But the general theming is very similar or the same. And the reason for that is it's easy to maintain. It really, it's easy to maintain. You know, um, uh, uh, these guys, when they when they work on the new GTK, they often break all the themes. And I, I can tell you, it's a nightmare to fix. If I had to sit with like 40 different theme packs to fix, I, I, I would pull my hair out, smash my head against the window and throw my laptop over the balcony. That's how I feel about it. So, you know, the less work I can make for myself, the better. This is why I, I'm trying to standardize quite a lot of stuff. Uh, layout manager, the clock, the, the, the themes, uh, just a lot of the sort of back end stuff. So that when I need to fix something, I can just fix one and, and, it, and it fixes everything across the board. Okay. But you do have some nice themes here. Of course, I mean, nice icon themes. You know, the icon themes do make... A lot of like unique buttons that you don't have in in you know with well that are different in in, in different uh, theme packs but you still have your theme manager which is still the sort of the same one that we use in core and shift where you can change the the color variations for example let's go with green you can choose green icons turn green and the boxes turn green the highlights turn green everything that you select turns green um, I don't know why that was doing that. Oh, I need to see. 
something is wrong there but it is an early bolt i'll fix don't worry don't stress <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, <clears throat> so everything then green. Everything changes to green, okay? So that's nice. If I change it back to orange, let's just see. Okay, so it's just a green theme. Uh, let's try purple. Okay, so it is just a green theme. Okay, I'll have a look at that. Anyway, um, you can also obviously change mouse cursors. I'm trying to keep the standard cursor pack through all of our distros because it's quite a nice variety. You know, so um, you can change your cursors quite easily. This is actually the sh the the core cursor. That's quite nice. Um, if you change the layout, it will change everything back. It will change your cursor, the wallpaper, everything else, because it it mimics this picture. Um, the other thing I wanted to show on the themes manager, obviously, is that you can turn special effects on and off. I'm still deciding whether to leave it on by default or turn it off because it is sort of it's not really it doesn't use a lot of resources I mean this is a virtual machine with a with a simulated GPU okay so if it runs this well here then it will run pretty well everywhere else anyway um, so yeah you still have the clock manager the weather options and so forth so forth so forth it's much of the same stuff that you've been seeing in uh, core and shift um, the main difference I would say is um, the layout this is a much different layout than core you don't have all the additional menus and stuff and also you you use a lot of different extensions here the overall difference between a uh, core and uh, and flash would be that flash is much more simpler much more traditional and much more I guess styled in a traditional way where, where core is a little bit out there it's got lots more features lots more lots of more of everything and so um, the people that prefer the sort of more traditional standard look they they kind of like the simplicity in plainness uh, will will like flash much more you know um, so yeah this is a very early build of flash just letting you guys know well I wouldn't say very early build I mean uh, everything's functional like everything's functional a uh, couple of bugs obviously that I need to sort out you saw now the uh, icon pack but that's kind of just the last bit of polishing that I'm doing there so I'll fix that other than that everything else is kind of working I've still got to do a bit of theming um, but yeah early build of core uh, flash now flash I want to see if I can get it out the end of this uh, end of June because we're now on 31st of May so which gives me a month um, since we're using the same hybrid base the base is very stable so it's mostly just front end that uh, needs to be tested um, so yeah I'll be sending out ISOs to the testers starting this week and then I'll get their feedback repair send out feedback repair send out put some features in test feedback you know the draw so uh, hopefully in the next four weeks this will be ready for release either the end of June or the end of July uh, I want to start pumping out these releases. <laughs> They've been hanging around for too long. Um, so last year we did no releases because of COVID. Well, virtually none. I think we only did one. And this year we're going to be doing a whole bunch. So you guys better get ready for that. It's going to be an exciting year. So yeah, that's Flash. Anybody who's been wanting Flash or looking forward to Flash, a nice, traditional, simple, elegant, beautiful desktop. I mean... It might be simple, but I tell you, it is pretty. You know, that you've got transparency everywhere, so it, it's not old-fashioned. I mean, it looks stunning. It, either way you look at it, from whatever angle, it looks stunning. And the wallpapers are stunning. You know, you've got some really, really, really nice wallpapers here. So it, it's not an ugly desktop, not by a long shot. It's a really pretty desktop. So... Uh, you know it's something that I think a lot of people will actually enjoy especially the guys that that sort of prefer the more plainer stuff and not the way out there stuff um, so yeah Makulu Linux uh, flash it's on its way guys I'm working on it every day uh, in fact I, after this video I'm gonna start fixing those uh, icon pack issues that I saw just now uh, I'll start working on that but anyway that's it I don't want to make the video too long um, I do want to say um, core is out go try the latest core see if you like it 
Uh, it is a very unique uh, operating system. Uh, if you're waiting for Flash, it's on its way. It will probably be about, uh, I'd say, about maybe another three or four weeks. And I think we should be ready to release it. Um, if anything serious comes up, we'll obviously postpone. But at this point in time, I don't see a reason to delay it. And uh, to the guys that have supported the project, thank you very much. To the guys that uh, want to support the project, I'll put links down below. Please do support the project. It's been a terrible, terrible, terrible year with finances. Um, both the project and personal, it's been a terrible, terrible year. I can't even stress that enough. So uh, if you can help us support us, then please do. We do appreciate it. We'll keep putting out some um, great releases. You know, we've done Lindos. We did a Core. We're doing Flash. There's another Lindos on the way. It's a different Lindos to the first Lindos. And then, of course, there's Shift. I know you guys are all waiting for Shift. There's Shift that's being worked on as well. A very, 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 very complex OS. So I am spending as much time as I can to perfect it. Anyway, guys, that's it from me for today. I just wanted to announce that Flash is on its way. I wanted to show it to you so you can see it, even if it still needs a lot of work. Uh, at least you can see it. You know it's coming. And uh, also to tell you that Core is out. You can go download it straight from the Makulu website. In fact, I think it's on DistroWatch as well. You can download the latest Core, check it out, see what it's all about. Run it in live mode, see if you like it. If you like it, install it. If you don't like it, fine then it's obviously not your cup of tea there's always lindos and there's this flash on the way as well um anyway that's it guys uh stay safe and uh see you guys in the next one bye bye